Exolda is an incredible, fantastic game, but few people are going to actually be able to enjoy it, because this game from stage 1 starts at the level of difficulty that you'd expect from the end game of a regular platformer. There is so much stuff being thrown at you and the whole level is moving up one long chamber for about 15 minutes. If you screw up, you can fall and lose several minutes of progress, and then there are some very difficult jumps involving your dash or bounce mechanics that you need to do again to keep proceeding. You have a checkpoint that has some limitations, but you can basically place it anywhere you want. However, each stage has a monster on your tail that if it catches you, will send you straight back to the beginning, completely invalidating all your hard work. From here, the game only gets harder, although bosses are a little strange in how easy they are. The monster is no longer chasing you, so you have infinite continues, and health pickups spawn frequently. There were several bosses that I beat on the first try, which is an odd contrast to how brutal the stages were before. Every stage introduces a new mechanic. Initially, you have Mega Man style disappearing platforms, but soon you're also dealing with sections of flying through the air freely, sliding ice floors, teleporting, gravity manipulation. It all gets nuts, but it's actually manageable. The initial difficulty hump levels out once you've started to get a tighter grip on the controls and understand how far your dash goes so you can use it to make some precise jumps. By the way, you have no real way to deal with the majority of enemies, all you can do is slash to neutralise their attacks, although this leads into the bounce mechanic, something that elevates the skill ceiling and I suspect is there to entice speedrunners. If you slash downwards and successfully repel an attack, it launches you upwards higher than a regular jump. You can do this in mid-air, successively, to speed up or completely skip certain areas. A lot about this game is just beautiful. The music and artwork is original and nothing shows this better than the bosses. These full screen monstrosities of gorgeous pixel art. While the game is wordless, there are some small events and clues that you see here and there that give some idea about a deeper story. In fact, this game is the third in a trilogy. The first game, Marrow, being a horror action game, and the second game doesn't actually exist yet. Even though I don't know the backstory, I could gleam enough information to make sense of what I was seeing and put together a plot in my own mind that had me rooting for the main character. This is exactly the kind of thing that deserves more attention rather than being buried in the avalanche of new releases where nobody sees it.